What's up, folks? I'm Cody with Just Life. Ever wondered how honey's made? Stick around, I'll show you how. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> what time is it? Time to go get the uh, it's honey. A, oh, oh, it's a beautiful day to pull some honey. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Cody here with Just Life. We are going to go and harvest some honey today. So as you may, you may or may not know, old Rods and Reel here is, uh, he has beehives. And so what we're going to go out there and do is harvest some of the sweet nectar of the gods. <laughs> so stick around. We'll get to it. So, when we harvest honey, oh, you can't even see me. Hello, loves. All right, so when you harvest honey, you gotta wear a bee suit, which we got that. And then you wanna tell us about some of the tools that we're gonna be using today there, Hero? Some of the tools? Some of the tools. Well, you got this blue tool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one blue tool, what's next? No, that's a pry bar. This, but it's the bar we used to, oh, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. Oh, here you go. So, it's easy. We put it in there, and we're gonna pull the the uh, frames out. <laughs> Shake them up. Uh oh, we didn't get the box together. Uh oh, what box? Get the box, the big black box. Oh, we didn't get box. So. Anyway, real quick. So we got the blue tool. Got Basically, blue it's a pry bar. Okay. So that's a pry bar, okay. and you use it to pry the frames apart. Then yeah. you have the frame frame gripper. Gripper. It's just a. Let me see. It's a technical term. Yeah, yeah, we use real technical terms, right? This is frame gripper. Google that. Let me know what you come up with. But what you do is you can stick it down on top of the frame and and then and then pull it out, right? Okay. Then you have some hand condoms. Some gloves because I'm a wuss and I don't want to get stung. Right. Some gloves. Then we have. You never know when you're gonna need a good little knife. Little, I don't know why this is in the box. <laughs> We're taking it. A little paring knife, you know, for whatever reason. A lighter to light the smoker. The smoker and, and then. The smoker. Anyone who has bees knows that a smoker, you use it, you puff on the back of it and it puts smoke out. So everybody spends money on fuel for the smoker. Yeah, I just use a bunch of old, <laughs> old letters from po politicians or bills or something. There you and go. And a piece of old cardboard yep. that's something from Amazon that my wife surely ordered. And uh, we're going to light it on fire make yep. it smoke. <laughs> so how that works is you shove it down here in the smoker. And we'll show you more later on in the video. You shove it down in the smoker, you light it on fire, then cap it, and it just creates smoke. You don't want it to catch on fire. Random piece of wire. Lastly, this is, so this is the key to the whole thing, is a little piece of wire, right? Now that is pivotal in the harvesting of honey. <laughs> and then and then of course you have a brush so the brush it's actually pretty useful what you do is you take if you have a frame you take and you like brush the bees off we'll show you though but that's or, just your basic or, or you can brush oh the yeah beard. oh, oh. <laughs> all right let me get the box that's the that's our list of tools and um i think that's it actually oh there's one more that's out there already it's what you hang the uh frames on We'll show you that out there. And we're um, just gonna switch out the whole box. Oh, so we're not pulling frames individually today. We're gonna we're gonna rob a box. So this is called a medium box. super. We're gonna we're gonna pull the medium off the, the set that's out there, and we're just gonna put the new box on there. So we're gonna rob the box. Um, so let me throw you on the chest piece, and uh, we'll head out to the uh, to the hives. Hello, can you see me? <laughs> so we are walking out to the hives now, which are back here. I don't want to turn around. It's all muddy. It's been raining for. 14 years straight over here but anyway so we changed our minds we're just going to take the frames we're not going to take the whole box um we've never done it that way and we don't have the time today to, day to experiment with doing it that method so we're just going to take the actual uh um frames out of the boxes individually and and slap them oh sorry about that blinding you there so uh anyway here's the hives we're here, that's the one that we're wait no, that's the one we're taking from today, right there. So we'll take all that stuff off the top, take that box, take all the frames out, put all the new frames into it. So now I'll put you on the chest. Stand by. All right. So we're almost ready. You want all these over there? So this is us breaching the hive. 
And so what he's doing now is doing the smoke. And what smoke does is it pushes the bees down into the hive further. Calms them down too. It calms them down. I don't know because I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it. A lot of people tell you because they think it's a forest fire and they're trying to avoid it. Um, I don't really know if that's accurate or not, but it works. It works very well. <laughs> yeah, just like that, they're done. So see, now the bees are all leaving. And if you get oh, one that, if you won't, if you get a couple that won't leave you alone, you just come here in front of the smoke. Get it in your eyes. Get it in your eyeballs. <laughs> and it'll. Uh, it's a great feeling. Get you out. There you go. Let's see if I can get you a little closer here. Woo! Man, they're fired up today. Oh man. So they'll be angry at first, and then once we get going, they realize what's going on. It's just, the trick is to keep them all down at the lower half of the uh, of the hive. So. You a hive beetle? I got him. You did get him. There you go, there's one of them right there. Yeah. Right there, yep, you got him. That right there will take over a hive. Yep. And let him alone. There's another one. I forgot to put the. Uh, the, those beetle traps in there. Yeah. So we have high beetle traps that usually we have out here, but we didn't bring them this time. Let me, um, I'm gonna get, you want me to bring the frames over here, the new ones? Uh, yeah. We'll just, just, just get a couple of them. All right. So I'm gonna pull this over here. And the reason you want to get the frames a little bit away is because, uh, the bees will follow it. So we'll leave this over here. Grab some frames. Head back this way. So now what he's doing is he is popping off. Wow! Awesome. There we go. Good. Can we get a, can we get a view at it? Oh yeah, that's oh, a full yeah. frame right that's there. That's completely full. And, and so this is what his brush is for. So you just see these bees right here? You're just gonna take and whoop, push them off into the hive. Like that. Got one, two, there you go. Like that. And then I will take the the frame and I will set it over in the box. That's pure. I see that honey right there sticking out. That's what we're after. So I'm just gonna come set it over here. And then we'll just repeat this process the whole time. Getting as many as we can along the way. Oh, the key's already pulling them out. Man, things are full, aren't they? They're very full. Very, very full About of honey. Four pound. So these are probably weighing, like he said, between four and five pounds each. I mean, look at that. It's completely capped. Nice, nice run of honey there. Oops. I'm gonna get that sweet nectar. That one should be ready. There we go. And again, I'm, we leave the frame, the box over here so that the bees go back to the colony if they come with me. But so far we haven't had that many. But also a trick to that is it's the middle of the day right now. So all the worker bees and stuff are out doing their thing. Um, yeah, so you got a lot less bees at the high right yeah, now. So you have a whole lot. I mean, half the house isn't even home right now. Oop, can you get that one for me? I can. Yeah. There we go. You need the, you need the brush to gel out now, throw it. Okay. Carrying these. So that's four down. And again, this is just a medium super. So this is one medium super. This is not a deep. And the difference is this is a deep. See the, the size of it. And then this is a medium. So you can see the size difference in the two. You gonna brush them off on your way over? Yeah, I can. So what we'll do is get these bees off like this, get them, you know. So thank you, thank you girls. Thank you for what you've been doing. If you could please go back to the hive. <laughs> Voila, oh, hey, get.
And so maybe you, you may be asking yourself, well, what about the queen? What is she doing? So if you see in this hive, this little metal bar right here, right here, that's called a queen excluder. So the queen is in there, but she cannot get through this excluder right here. So she's down in the lower half. So we can leave the lid off and maintenance this thing and do what we got to do because the, the queen, she's not gonna, she's not gonna be able to get out. And that's why these, uh, that's why these frames are so full of just honey. There's right. no brood in here because there's no eggs. Right. She's not up here laying. This is where all the good stuff's right. stored. So and a lot I... of folks don't do that. They'll just say that that's dumb to do it. Hey. <laughs> to each their own. Yep. So again, this is all honey. No brood. And what brood is? Brood is the babies, the eggs, the larvae, the little baby bees. That's called brood and you'll get that wherever the queen is but you know there's no there's the excluder so we're not taking any brood and just like that the top half the uh, the one we're extracting from is completely empty uh, we got the frames out they're hanging on the outside so now these are empty this is what it looks like that's that queen excluder right there and you can see the bees down in there doing their thing you know trying to salvage as much honey as they can for the brood uh, but we're not taking the to taking the next one. We're just going to replace it with brand new frames. Some people will leave one in there to keep them, get them going. But if that, yeah, I'm not going to this time. We'll do a little bit of experiment. So if this one, we'll come back and check it in a month. If if they've not drawn this out a bunch, what I'll do is I'll come into this hive. I'll take one of the top or two or three frames out of this one because right. I haven't harvested this one this year. And I'll just move that honey two or three over into this one. Right. And give them some base to start with. Right. And so these are actually brand new frames we're using too. They've never been drawn out. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep going. And it's really important that you get these frames tight because these are all about spacing. Right. So just wanna keep this all tight. And you do that by wedging each side evenly. Wedging each side evenly. Some people push all the frames to one side or one to the other. We push them right in the middle. So you got the gap on both ends. And then you have the yeah. frames in the middle. So what we found is if you push them all to one side, they'll take that space right there, Correct. and they'll build another comb in it. It just it gets to be a big a pain. Okay, so now this is the reassembly of the hive. Looking for any hive beetles or anything on there? A couple of them in here. I gotta get that dope. Put that dope back in here. So we'll slap the lid back on. Get all these bees out here, so don't kill any of them. I'm gonna mash them. Get a lone fella in there. <laughs> Put that on there. We do our best not to smash any of the bees. You want to clear out as many of as possible. Oh, there's a hive beetle right on my face. Yeah, he won't eat much. No, he won't. All right, so next up, we're going to uh, actually hold on. All right, so the next step is we have all the frames out and all that. We're going to go inside now. We're going to show you how do we uh, extract the honey. And then after we extract it all, we're gonna start the bottling process. So don't leave, we're, uh, we're gonna head up inside now. So every year we like to take a guess at like how much, how much honey is gonna be extracted completely once it's all said and done. So he says 45. I, those are pretty full, man. I, those are pretty full. I'm gonna have to say, uh, I'm gonna go 50. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go 50. I'm gonna I'm think, I'm gonna think, uh, think positive here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, hey. I can tell you one thing. It's a good weight loss program. Uh, hey, it's hot out there. We were only out there, I'll tell you anyway. We were only out there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I ain't built for this anymore like I used to be. <laughs> Texas, man. The most important tool that we didn't mention. Let me use yours. Sorry. It is Sorry. the bee suit. And all it is, it's like a, it's like a, what material is this? Burlap, maybe? It's like Cordura. It's like a, yeah, like a, whatever that is, a Corolla. <laughs> Cordura. Cordura. It's like a hard jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it's got a, a hood that zips, like you saw me wearing, and it's got the, uh, the mesh on the front so you can see. Sorry, it's hot, dude. My brain doesn't work too well when it's hot. You'd never guess I was in the army for as long as I was. <laughs> all right, we're going to take all this off, and then we're going to, start the extraction process and the extraction process involves the spinner and the buckets so more on that in just a second what up all right so we're back in the ac now right okay so now we're going to do the part of extracting the honey from the actual frames um and then putting them or yeah so we extract the honey by putting it in the spinner once it's in the spinner we'll drain it into the bucket so 
We use the two bucket system. Um, it's I think we bought it from Man Lake, if I remember right. I know that's where I got the spinner from. But anyway, so you have two buckets right here, right? So one is the top bucket, which has all the holes on the bottom, and then the second one is the main bucket, which has the valve on the front of it. And so this is just a normal bucket. You can buy this as a kit, by the way. If I find a link to it, I'll put it down in the description box. But this is a normal bucket, it has a valve on it. If you look inside there, it goes down to there. Yeah, you get it, yada, yada. Okay, so this is the bottom bucket. This sits on the floor. Now, on top of that bucket, we have the top bucket. And the top bucket is also a normal bucket with the lid, the lid to this bucket screwed into it, but it has holes in the bottom. And so this lid, you affix it to the top of this bucket, like so, right? Stick with me, I know it's confusing. <laughs> right? So boom, now you have the setup and they're stuck together. So you have your bottom bucket and your top bucket attached by the lid. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the frames. We have a uh, very secretive tool that is, uh, you know, only a few people know about it. A BFK. <laughs> you put down the blood cloth. Yeah, so it's a big knife, right? And that's how we do it. There's a thousand ways to get honey off of a honey, uh, off of a frame. We weren't talking, it's not a big deal. <laughs> You're good, do your thing. So within the top bucket, we have cheesecloth. And it's made, so there's two ways you can get this stuff, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. And if you know my dad, you know that he's the cheapest rich dude you'll ever meet, right? <laughs> so what I mean by that is the, uh, so cheesecloth comes in a couple of options, right? If you get it on the, B aisle or the B harvesting aisle, it's gonna cost a little bit more than if you go into the paint section and get it in the paint section. So I'll let you choose whatever you want, whichever method you want, whichever you feel safest with, okay? So you're gonna take your cheesecloth, which is in a bag, right? And it's got a little scrunchie on the top. You're gonna take it and you're gonna set it into the bucket and you're gonna take the scrunchie part and you're gonna fold it over the lip of the bucket like this. Right? All the way down over the main lid like that so it goes down over this part okay and then once you have that part of the same kit comes with a piece of wood with notches in it you can make this if you want to that's why i'm showing you all this um you got a tape measure i'll tell you the exact measurements of it uh it's got two little notches in it and it's got a nail sticking up right on the top okay so <laughs> so this is exactly 13 and a quarter inches long, if you're wondering. And the cuts are, inside cut to inside cut are exactly 11 and 5 eighths ish. Just lay it across the bucket. And, yeah. Well, and mark it with a marker. Yeah. And then cut with a table saw. Right. Two you, lips. You do that too. And then that, that nail right there. That nail you just drive it six through. Six penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nail, you just drive it through the bottom. And what this is, is it sits on top of the bucket and it clips onto the lip lip of the bucket like that. And so now you'll take giving new frames or no? Hold on one second. Uh, I just took them all out. Okay, so you'll take the frame, we're about to show you anyway. You'll take the frame, you'll set the frame on this nail, and the nail's there to hold it tight. Um, and then you're gonna take the honey off of the frame. So let's get to that now. All right, one last, one last thing, I promise you, and then you'll have everything you need to harvest honey, drop cloth. So we use a piece of painter's plastic from the same painter's aisle that we may or may not have gotten our uh, cheese cloth from. So, all right. It's a paint strainer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be behind the camera now for a minute, and I'm gonna let old uh, Papa Hines here, he's gonna, he's gonna walk you through what he's doing. Okay, well this needs to be down here. So we're gonna work on it. I'm gonna put it close to this, so we can put it right in and not make a mess. Okay, so that's the nail I was telling you about. That's the setup. And so one of the frames is going to go. So what we'll do is we'll do one. I'll do one step by step for you, show you how it's done. And then we're going to we're gonna zoom through the rest of them and then pick up on the bottling. Grab you a frame. There we go. And then let me show you something. He's going to set it on the nail. And we're just going to come down. Watch that liquid gold run out. <laughs> so you can always see that some of it's not uncapping. Right, and so that's okay. We got the tool. So this is called capped brood, right? So capped what he did honey. is he cut capped honey. Yeah, capped honey. I'm sorry. Um, this portion of the honey of the of the of the uh, 
oh my gosh, if the frame was shallower than the frame itself, so we didn't cut it, obviously. But if you look, all of that is honey. It's all natural, no sweeteners added. And so what he did is he cut down one side, and then we're just pushing the pushing the. Uh, and we had down. a tool in here. I got to grab. Thank you, buddy. I don't really know what's that. I think it's right here, it's underneath that. It's underneath that. Uh, yeah, it's right there, underneath that towel. Oh yeah. Oh. We'll get our lives together. Here. <laughs> so the pieces that you don't get with a knife, just take this and you want to perforate. Break them open. Yeah, break them open. And you really gotta be rough about it. It's going. It makes a mess of your high or your or your frame, but yeah, this is not. I mean, it is what it don't is. Don't try to be gingerly with it. I mean, get in there and break that wax. Some people open just poke it like that. I kind of like break it. Oh, they right, also sell this. Side? They also sell this tool in a wheel that you can roll up and down. I think we've tried it and it's not been our favorite, but so once that side's done, you yep. just rotate it on the nail. Put that down. Go for the other one. And so that's what the cheesecloth is for. So the wax will drop in there and at the end we'll just strain all the rest of the honey out. Uh-huh. That was swimming. Oh, we it's got, down. we got preggers here. Yeah, it's pouring down right now. It's raining? Oh, oh hold on, let's go outside. We, we got news reports just now. I was coming to see if y'all got caught in rain. Oh, no. Oh goodness, it is, it's raining like a champ. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, I'll show you. This is how close, I mean, we've only been inside for 15 minutes. Look at this. You kidding me? Dude. Woo Timing is everything. I, I said 45 pounds. Cody thinks we got 50. Yeah, so we took our official guesses. I, he said 45, I said 50. What do you think? What does Preggers think we're gonna reel into New Year with? 47. Four, 47. Oh, 47. She's splitting hairs over here. Okay. I haven't looked at it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so what he did, sorry we're being so jumpy here. Um, what he did is he uncapped both sides. And so now you can see the honey on both sides. Spin it for me. Bada bing, bada boom, right? Okay, now, once you uncap a frame, you're going to take it and you're going to put it into the spinner. Um, now, we have the spinner, we have it holds three at once. They make these in all different shapes and sizes. Um, this is just the one that we have, so here we'll go. We'll sit it in there, Boop. just like that. That's one. That's one. And now we'll do another one, and we'll fill this spot, and then we'll do another one, and we'll fill this spot, and then we'll spin it. So stick, stick around, and we'll, uh, we'll show you that part. Ha! Okay, so we have all the frames inside of the extractor now. Um, and so what you want to do when you put it in the extractor, try to keep the weight even as possible. So if you want to come down here with me, um, you can see the frames are all in there, like we just cut from. And then uh, we're going to close the lid. And then what, what we're using is it's, it's an extractor and how it works is through centrifugal force. And what will happen is those frames, they'll start spinning and I'll spin them and we'll spin the mess out of them. And that honey's gonna literally just be drawn from the comb and thrown on the wall. And it's gonna run down the wall to the bottom. That's how we drain it. And uh, it looks a little something like this. Yeah, you gotta push down and it gets so wobbly. Yeah. You wanna come here and see it spinning? I don't know if you can see it, but we're just spinning it. I think it smells, it smells so good. Yeah, slow it down. And so what it will do is you come right in here, I'll open the lid and you'll see. See all the honey all over the wall? It doesn't look like much now, but as we go, yeah, it smells so good. it'll get thicker. This is what it looks like. So the inside frames still have honey and the outside of the frame is gonna have, put, but it should have nothing. So here, look, check it out. I'm gonna pull it straight out. And boom. Shazam. All the honey has been thrown against the wall and then watch, when I turn it around, boom. So you can see the difference there. That's completely full. That's after we spin it. And you can see, and if you get in close here, you can see all of the honeycomb is empty. You can see the nice hexagon shapes that it makes. Oh wait, octagon, sorry. <laughs> No, it's hexagon. Yeah, it's hex. Yeah, I was right. Now, I'm just stick with your gut, all right? All right, so now we're gonna spin it and drop it right back in, just like that. Spin it, drop it in there. And then pick it up. And this is where he, he, he scratched at right here. 
So you can see it's all scratched out. And you may have thought, well, that looks like it's damaging the comb. It is, but it's to get it out. And you can see it came out just fine. So we're going to spin it and keep on. And the bees will fix it real quick. Yeah, the bees will fix it almost immediately. So drop that. And I'm going to get the honey off my fingers. Oh, no. I got it everywhere. I'm just kidding. And we're going to spin it. Now, when you spin this one, your weight's going to be a little bit off. So you've got to hold it. How many turns are you doing? Are you counting or you just... No, I'm yeah. just spinning the life out of it. It don't take much. So I won't edit that spin there. That was this live. I'll show you the live time, however long that was. And uh, there we go. And then look. Boom. Shazam. Empty frames. Good to go. And so we'll take these. We'll set them back on the box right here. That way we can take them and set them right back in the beehive. And once I get this last frame out, I'll let him come in and you can see the honey all at the bottom of this thing. So come over here and you can see down in the bottom. You see all the honey down in the bottom? Nice. You can see how the, the chrome stops right there and it's honey. And that's a beveled bottom. So the bottom looks like this. So it's sloped upwards. So it's full almost to the top off of three frames. So nice. that's what it looks like getting higher as it goes because it's coming off that wall. Right. So it's, it's draining down the wall and it's, it's, it's settling at the bottom and we'll open it through there. All right, so here's, here's where we're at, okay? These extractors, they get full of honey, obviously. So what we're looking at is we are full. We're plum full and I cannot spin this anymore. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna pour off what's in this extractor now. It's very easy to do. So the honey level is about right, I'd say right in there, right there somewhere. And it goes all the way to the bottom of it, about the bottom of this. So there's a quite a bit of honey in there. So here, we're, what we're gonna do is, you remember the bucket setup we had earlier? Um, the bucket setup that we had earlier, we have the two buckets here, the, um, oh my gosh, what's this stuff called? The paint strainer? Yes, the, <laughs> sorry, the cheesecloth is in the bucket, right? And so what we're going to do now is pop the seal and let you it run. we talk up. about all that, that, uh... Oh yeah, so what we did is the cone the that wax, we cut out, yeah. you, you saw the, the wax falling into the bucket here. What we did is we took it, we put it off to the side in a bag of its own, for right now. What we're gonna do, historically what we've done is took it into the strainer and squeezed it and strained it out. We're gonna try a new method. We're gonna just set it in here overnight and see how much just naturally drips down into the bottom bucket. But before we do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain off what's in the thing now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Okay, so now we have the door open, right? And the honey's flowing in. And remember those three holes that we had at the bottom, they are letting the honey from the top bucket flow into the bottom bucket, but we're straining out all the comb. So the best thing to do in a situation like this is remember them tacos I just showed you? Go eat you some tacos. <laughs> so we're gonna go, we're gonna munch on some tacos, let this run out because natural real honey that's not cut like you get at the store is very, very thick. You can see how thick it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's like syrup. So we're gonna let it strain through, we're gonna let it drip in there, we're gonna go eat us some grub, and then when we get done grubbing, we're gonna come back and we're gonna bottle it up. So uh, stick around for the bottling portion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a lot of honey though, for real. <laughs> Look, check it out. That's all pure filtered honey. So we're gonna go in here and get on the scale. Well, we're not gonna get on the scale, but the honey's gonna get on the scale. We get on the scale, we might be a little sad. <laughs> dum da da dum The honey has arrived! <laughs> Y'all thought we were kidding? No, we were in here eating tacos. This is no joke. We love tacos. All right, so now we're gonna hop, get the scale. We're gonna get the scale. We're gonna weigh this and see how our numbers hold up. All right, got the old health O meter here. <laughs> Zero pounds going on. And dum 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 dum. Don't tell us! Don't tell us! Pick up the bucket. We'll look at the number. And the final number is. <laughs> we broke the scale. No, he saw it. What was the number? 27.6. 27.6. Let me get you overhead view here so you can see. Can you see that? 27.6. 27.6 pounds. Dang, I thought it would be more than that. Bam. So, a medium super completely drawn and capped 
um, is going to yield for our area 27.6 pounds minus the weight of the bucket, which buckets weigh what, like two pounds, I think. So around 25 pounds of raw honey. So now uh, what we're going to do is get it set up to um, bottle it, and we're going to put it in individual bottles, and then uh, you know start eating, start putting on delectable honey on some food. So let's get to bottling. All right, so we have the funnel. Sorry, we have the funnel. Uh, here we have the empty bottle we have the lids ready and these are self-sealing lids so once we pour it that'll be it so all right you ready ready this the first one we never normally video the first one because it usually ends in Cody usually screws it up in a heartache but we got this, we got okay, this. this. all right you ready I'm ready first pour of this pool it's gonna come out profusely you ready let's do it you sure I'm on. all right here we go Alright. These are big bottles. Big bottles. I forgot. Okay. It's trying to go straight in. Yeah. yeah. That's actually really good. Yeah. A little more, sir. Perfect. Cut her off. Boom. We gotta put that. Wow. Cut it. Now we're switching. Do we do we have to put play into there or something? No. <laughs> That's what we did. That's what we did. All right, ready? Send it. Boom. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll get really smooth with this here in just a second. Best way to do this. <laughs> Send it. Uh, there's probably a lot better way to do it. Years of practice get you to right here. <laughs> So that's all bottled. Here's what we came up with. So again, it was one medium super with how many frames was in it? 10, right? Uh, yeah. 10 frames, fully drawn, fully capped. We got 24 12 ounce bottles and 18 eight ounce bottles, AKA a lot of honey for one person to eat because my dad's not getting any. But <laughs> <laughs> you might not get any. <laughs> But anyway. That's how that's done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything, drop them in the comments below. Um, my dad's been keeping bees for a while, and I, it's one of those hobbies that can be expensive. It can be cheap, depending on what you put into it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button to uh, get, or I'm sorry, hit the like button, and then hit the subscribe button so you see video, more videos like this. And we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.